hope you're having a great day. I have a beautiful piece from Tress Allure to show you guys, but before I do, let me tell you about the piece I'm wearing here. This is my John Renault Top Style Synthetic Topper in the 18 inch. The color is 10H16. It is my everyday go-to piece. Very easy to wear, very easy to wear back because of the thin um, base up here. So I have it twisted back and then braided down the side. It's just, like I said, my go-to piece for the summer. Check it out, the John Renault Top Style Synthetic 18 inch color 10H16. All right, the piece I am showing you today is this beautiful blonde synthetic wig from Tress Allure. The name of it is Picture Perfect and the color is 24-102-R12. This is a rooted piece with a very, very um, kind of ashy light brown that fades into a platinum blonde. And then we have a little bit darker blonde high, um, blended into it. So it almost looks like it has these platinum blonde highlights, but very beautifully colored. I love a rooted blonde. It makes it look so much more natural. And then the two tones of blonde in it also give it great dimension. So overall, a beautiful color. So you can see it kind of gets a little bit darker as you go towards the bottom and then a little bit lighter on the sides. But that is the 24102R12 color. All right, so the cap features of this piece, we have a lace front, and then we have a mono top, and then just the stretchy wefting in the back with the um, velvety nape and the adjustable uh, bands here at the nape for um, fit. And then we have the velvet adjustable ear tabs on the side. This is a hand tied base, so it has a beautiful movement to it. Gives it a natural um, look when you have it on and it's moving around, not on your head, just the fibers moving around. <laughs> All right, the bang is 11 inches in the front, so more of a long layer. From the crown, it's 14 and a half inches. From the nape, it is 10 inches down and it is five ounces. This does feel like a denser piece. I'm curious to see what it looks like when I get it on, if it looks bulky or um, a more natural look to it. Overall, a beautiful, just straight, long blonde piece. All right, I'm gonna go put her on so you can see what she looks like. Be screenshot ready. Here are all the details on Tressa Lore's Picture Perfect. All right, here she is. This is Tress Allure's Picture Perfect in the color 24102R12. So she is very, very blonde. <laughs> this is a very bright, uh, light platinum blonde. And But I do love that it is rooted. Like the rooting definitely gives it a natural look. And then you have these really bright pieces in the front and then underneath and kind of in the back, you have a little bit more of the warmer blonde but very dimensional, love that it has a root. And the thing that's standing out to me is this lace front. I mean, that is a really good lace front. Like right here, it, um, I don't know, just kind of how it's sparse. I don't know if that's purposeful that it's sparse right there, but it does make it look really natural. Like you could definitely um, kind of sweep it off of your face like this. In fact, on the website, the model did have hers kind of swooped back the way this is right here. So um, they are really showcasing that lace front, which I think they did a really great job on. And you could, you don't have to part it in the middle there. Um, this is a mono top, so you could um, sweep it more to the side. Oh my, I shouldn't have done that. If you want to, um, you could do more of a strict kind of part down the side and wear it straighter down. You don't have to do the swoop, but just know the options there if you want to pull it away from your face. So mono top, lace front, and it is hand tied, so it does have really great movement to it. This is fitting comfortably. I will say this is probably um, a little bit more on the larger cap size. It does say it's an average cap, but it does feel a little bit bigger on my head. It's not uncomfortable or moving around or bunching or anything like that. Um, just be aware that if you tend to wear kind of average large on that spectrum of the cap size, this will be a great fit for you. And if you need more of a petite, this would probably be way too big for you. So just be aware that it runs maybe a smidge big. Um, the ear tabs are where they're supposed to be. Nothing is bunching, so it fits really good. Um, the layers are really good. Now this is a very blunt cut. Um, as you can see, it's um, almost jagged looking in some places. It's not 
very soft or have any movement or anything like that to it. So it is an easy style to wear as far as the length and then the longer layers, but it is very blunt. Now the fibers feel really good. They're silky and soft. I don't think this looks too wiggy as far as it being overly shiny or anything like that. So I think they did a really good job on this piece. The cut is good. Again, the layers are good. The, um, the blonde color is very bright and vibrant. So if you need a blonde, this would be a great option for you. Lots of styling options with this piece. Again, you could do the ear tuck. You could pull back um, kind of halfway like this. You could actually definitely wear it off of your face if you wanted to kind of clip it back like that. And then you could always do a side ponytail or you can just do a kind of a deep swoop like that. Um, there's lots of great options with this piece. It is really easy to wear. I think it's that lace front that looks so natural that makes it um, easy to wear and lots of great styling options. All right, let me give you a 360. So here is the right side. Here is the back, here is the left, and then on around. All right, she's a really uh, cute piece. I was pleasantly surprised. I don't review a lot of Tressalore pieces, um, but this I think is a really great option. All right, picture perfect. If you need her in your life, head on over to wigs by pattiespearls.com. Manufactures Tressalore. This is picture perfect, and the color I'm showing you is 24102R12. All right, I will see you guys next time.